Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you 15 hidden tips and tricks to supercharge your iPhone experience. Whether you are a long-term iPhone user or just a curious newcomer, these tips will definitely elevate your iOS knowledge. For example, do you know how to activate iOS police mode? This is kinda important. So grab your device, hit the subscribe button and without further ado, let's get started. On your iPhone or iPad, you can use gestures to copy and paste text or images. To copy, select your text and pinch in using three fingers. To paste it, pinch out using your three fingers as well. It works literally like magic. I just love this hidden iOS feature. Bonus tip, you can select multiple items in the Messages app, Notes or Files simply by swiping on them with your two fingers. It's much faster than selecting each item one by one. Number 2. Measure App Secret The Measure app on iPhone hides one interesting feature I'm pretty sure 99% of iOS users are not aware of. The Measure app can show you the approximate height of the person. Just point your iPhone to the person you want to measure and your iPhone will indicate its approximate height. Try it yourself. If you are living in a dictatorship country like me, your iPhone may be unlocked and any sensitive data or messages may be used against you. But thank God, in an emergency situation, you can activate a so-called iPhone police mode. On your iPhone, quickly press 5 times the lock button and your device will immediately disable the Face ID. No one will be able to point your iPhone into your face and unlock it without your consent. Guys, now it's time for our today's sponsor, Banks. Recently, Banks sent me their two new City Series cases for iPhone 15 Pro Max. Honestly, I really like their new cases. They offer good protection while still looking good. I especially like the 3D image printed on the back of this case. Of course, Banks cases are MagSafe compatible and magnets are really strong. The price of this case is just $90.99, it's a great value product. If you are interested in purchasing one of these cases, the affiliate link will be in the description of this video. As always, I would not recommend something that I am not using myself. Not a lot of people know, but you can copy text from any photo or video on your iPhone. Touch and hold the word and move the grab points to adjust the selection. If the text is in the video, pause the video first and copy the text. You can paste it in another app or share it with someone else. To turn on live text for all supported languages, open the settings app, tap general, tap language and region, turn on live text. Siri, besides being a pretty useless voice assistant, can also recognize songs using the built-in Shazam feature. Simply ask Siri to identify the song and she will tell you the name of the track in just a few seconds. The LED flash next to the camera lens on the back of your iPhone can blink when your device is locked and you receive a new notification. This can be useful for anyone who might miss audible alerts. On your iPhone, go to Settings, Accessibility, Audio and Visual and activate LED flash for alerts. Now every time your iPhone receives a new notification, it will activate the flash to let you know about that. On your iPhone, go to Settings, Sounds and Haptics, Keyboard Feedback and turn on haptic feedback. Now every time you type text on your iPhone, you'll feel a gentle haptic feedback letting you type text even faster and more enjoyable. You can also use your iPhone keyboard as a trackpad to correct your typing errors without deleting the whole word. Simply press and hold the space button 
and move your finger to start navigating the cursor between words or letters. Bonus tip, the iOS keyboard supports swipe gestures. You can swipe on the letters and type your text even faster. Hiding photos or videos can be extremely useful if you have some sensitive images that some prying eyes might see by accident on your iPhone. This may happen when you give your device to a friend or colleague, or when showing your photos to someone. By accident, you might reveal some photos that you would prefer to keep private. To hide some of your photos, first go to Settings, Photos, and activate Use Face ID and Show Hidden Album. Then open your Photos app. Select the photo or video that you want to hide. Tap the More button. Then tap Hide. Your hidden photos and videos will be available in the hidden album. Until recently, Apple did not offer a feature to individually lock sensitive apps with Face ID on your iPhone. Now it is possible thanks to the Shortcuts app. Launch the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. Tap the plus button in the top right corner and create a new shortcut. Tap Add Action and search for the lock screen. Tap Done. Tap the Automation tab at the bottom of the screen. Tap the plus button in the top right corner and create your personal automation. Scroll down and choose App. Make sure Is Open option is selected on the next screen. Then tap Choose. Choose an app you want to protect with Face ID. Then tap Done. Select Run immediately. It means without confirmation. Then tap Next. Start typing Lock Screen into the text field and select the lock screen shortcut you've just created. Your personal automation is now complete. Now, every time you open the app of your choice, your iPhone will require Face ID to access its content. You can trigger different actions by double or triple tapping on the back of your iPhone. Go to Settings, Accessibility, Touch, Back Tap. Choose double or triple tap and assign actions. For example, in my case, the double tap gesture on the back of my iPhone opens the control center. The triple tap gesture turns on the flashlight. There are plenty of actions to choose from. You will definitely find something for you. In case you type the wrong digit in the calculator app, you don't have to delete the whole equation and start over again. Just swipe from the left to the right and it will delete only the last digit. Simply correct your equation and you'll get your result. Bonus tip. Turn your iPhone in horizontal mode and you'll see a whole bunch of scientific formulas that can be quite useful. Spotlight is not just a simple search engine on your iPhone. It also hides some pretty unusual features. Just open Spotlight, write your equation and you'll get a result right in the Spotlight search. There is no longer a need to open the calculator app. You can also convert currencies. Just type your request, for example, dollars into euros and Spotlight will show you the exact conversion rate. Spotlight can also convert different measures for example, kilograms to pounds or miles in kilometers. But that's not all. You can even track flights. Just type the flight number, for example, AF14, and track your flight without any third-party applications. Additionally, you can check the weather in any city of your choice. Just type in Spotlight Weather In and add the name of your city. But that's not all. Spotlight can provide you with a definition of a word. Just type your unknown word and Spotlight will find it in the dictionary. You can use your iPhone to scan documents without any third-party apps. Open the Files app on your iPhone and tap on three little dots. Select Scan Documents. Then simply scan your document and it will be saved to the Files app. Bonus tip, you can also sign your PDF documents right on your iPhone. Open your file and tap on the markup button. Tap on the little plus icon and add your signature. 
But that's not all. You can scan text and insert it right into your Notes app. Open the Notes app and tap on the camera icon. Simply point your camera at your text and it will automatically paste it into your note. How cool is that? Your iPhone can translate text right in the camera app. Open the camera app and point your iPhone in photo mode at the text you want to translate. The live text icon will appear. Tap on it and select the translate option. The text from your camera will be automatically translated into your iPhone language. No need to take a picture or type the text manually in the translation app. This feature will save you a lot of time, especially while traveling in foreign countries. iOS allows users to set custom vibrations for different contacts. Go to the context info, select Edit and choose Ringtone, then Vibration. Create new vibration. Thanks to this feature, you can assign unique vibrations to important contacts to identify them without looking at the screen. Do the same action for text tones if you want to set custom vibrations when receiving text messages. Guys, that's all for today. If you found this video useful, check out my other videos as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time.